now going to look at adding and subtracting vectors in unit vector notation. The good news is that now your vector is in unit vector notation, it's very easy to add and subtract it from other vectors. So let's consider two vectors. Let's consider the vector a, which can be written as axi plus ayj plus azk, and the vector b, which can be written as bxi, byj, bzk. First of all, we're going to try adding these two vectors together. In this case, we just add the components in each direction. So a plus b is equal to ax plus bx, or times i, plus ay plus by, or times j, plus az plus bz, or times k. Subtraction is also really easy. Once again, we just subtract the components which are acting in the same direction. So if we were to do vector a minus vector b, we have the equation, this is equal to ax minus bx in the i direction, plus ay minus by in the j direction, plus az minus bz in the k direction. It's also really easy to deal with multiplying these vectors by scalars. So a scalar, remember, is not a vector, it's only got a magnitude. So if we had two integers, let's call them m and n, but they can be any number, they don't even have to be an integer, any number, then if we wanted to work out what m times vector a plus n times vector b was going to be equal to, this would be equal to m times ax plus n times bx in the i direction, plus m times ay plus n times by in the j direction, plus m times az plus n times bz in the k direction. What is a little bit harder with your unit vectors is multiplying them. There's a couple of different ways that we can multiply together vectors in unit vector notation. One way will give us a result which is a vector, so this is known as taking the cross product. The other result will be a scalar, which is known as taking a dot product. We will look at how to do this later in the course where it becomes relevant. Let's have a look at an example of adding and subtracting vectors in unit vector notation now, which involves some actual numbers. If a is equal to 5i minus 2j plus 3k, and b is equal to minus 5i plus 4j plus 4k, evaluate 1a plus b, 2a minus b, and 3, 3a minus 2b. So to do this, part one, we've got to evaluate a plus b. So what we do is add the i components. So we've got 5 minus 5i plus here we've got minus 2 plus 4j plus in this case 3 plus 4k. So we can write this as 5 minus 5, that's 0. So we can write 0i, or we could just leave this term off altogether. Then we've got plus 2j, and then we've got plus 7k. Now in part 2, we've got a minus b. So in this case, we've got 5, and then we've got minus minus 5i, plus minus 2 minus 4j plus 3 minus 4k. So this is equal to 10i minus 6j minus k. And finally, we've got 3a minus 2b. So we've got 3 times 5, that's 15, minus 2 times minus 5, so that's plus 10i, plus 3 times minus 2, so that's minus 6, minus 2 times 4, so that's minus 8. And then we've got 3 times 3, so that's 9, and then minus 2 times 4, so that's minus 8k. So this is equal to 25i 
minus 14j plus k. So we've solved that problem now.